Good morning, y'all. Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali, and today is surgery day. It is September 20th, and if you guys didn't know already, I've been posting quite a lot about it, but I'm getting a breast reduction. I am just so excited to get it over with. I don't even feel that nervous yet, which is kind of weird because this is like the biggest surgery I've ever gotten, but maybe that's why because I don't really know what to expect, even though they like walked me through all the pre-op, post-op instructions, but they did tell me to wear a dark colored button up. And then I just have my Lululemon like cozy pants on. I swear they just like look like surgery pants. So I put them on and then I braided my hair because I just brushed it. I just want it to be super manageable just because I won't be able to brush it probably. I also just showered with antibacterial soap and I wasn't allowed to put deodorant or cream or perfume, anything like that on. So we're gonna head to the office. I'm getting it done with Dr. Chiki Obi at Westlake Dermatology. And let's go. Like How do you feel? Up. Nervous for you a little. Why? No, my surgery sucks. How do you feel? Mm, excited. Thank you. <laughs> Anxious. I'm excited. I'm just saying I, I wouldn't want to do this. I know. That's true, actually. Well, God I gave me. I this also for you, but I didn't but want to But you don't want to say this. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, excited you're you. going to feel better. Yes, me too. All right, let's go, Mama. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. See you. <laughs> okay. Love you too. Test. One, two, three. Test. Hi, Sonali. How are you? Sleepy. Sleepy? Okay. I'm just going to take down information about how to care about you. Okay. You look good. Everything Thank looks you. good. Okay. So fast. It went by so fast? It's so sleepy. Okay. You can keep sleeping. I didn't cry before, but I want to cry now. Why? It's <laughs> okay. It's, this is normal. Remember we talked about that? Yeah. Some people cry when they wake up. My colder is normal. It doesn't even hurt. I just needed to cry, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's <laughs> waiting outside. You're good. She can sit in the front. You okay? You look great. Yeah, it looks really good. Cheez-Its? I don't like them. You don't like Cheez-Its? No. Oh. Okay. So, I'll get the smoothie. I was really sad because before the surgery, they asked me if I had any animals, and there were like no animals in bed. So we, Sophie, <laughs> we bathed Sophie just for this so she can sleep with me all week. <laughs> so how'd you feel going in? To the surgery center? Mm-hmm. I didn't like that I saw that. Saw what? The table with the lights and shit. <laughs> I was like, can't you just wheelchair me in? I don't want to see all that shit. 
so that was kind of scary but i was really like waiting for them to like put me under it took a while they were filling all the paperwork out i was like when am i gonna get to go to sleep and then you just woke up next thing and then you were in the car what yeah wow it was really fast at least in my mind so now you have to say it's sleeping up or sleep sitting up (laughs) Just like not on my side, or like laying down. You want to show them your drainage? It's those little drains on both sides. We have to log. Hmm? We have to log how much drainage I have. Right. You already working? You crazy? What are you working on? I wanted to have more video today before my surgery and I didn't have time. Time just went by too fast, so. How are you feeling? Fine. Are you seeing it? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't think you ever have like pain, do you? No. I don't suffer. So. Also, I think you just cry so much normally that you don't have it in you when you actually are, do hurt. Wait, aren't I on pain medication? Yeah, but still, unless you are out for like days. Yeah. It's day two of recovery, and we are headed out to go to my day after post op. Um, but they did put two drains on me. I don't know if I should show it because there's blood in there. Um, but hopefully, they like take it off and put it back on because that was like the most uncomfortable part last night like the the tape was just really itchy and it still is i slept kind of like propped up too hopefully they can like take all this stuff off and like show me i don't know if i really want to see but it'd be interesting <laughs> so we took the bandages off and i got to see them and they're like really small but Good. I don't know. I, I just took like a random little picture so I wasn't able to see it very well. But this is so weird. <laughs> These are like my seventh grade boobs or something <laughs> like that. Maybe sixth grade. It's wild. Mm. I'm not really having any pain. It's just those band-aids are really itchy. These tubes, these drains are kind of itchy. And then and then I'm just like sore right here. Hello. How are hey, you? Hey. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> you with mom today? Oh, I think yes. I was here yesterday. I just yes, I was here yesterday. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet Princess you. Kenobi. You did a great job. Oh, good. 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 <laughs> it looks good. good. Awesome. You <laughs> did great yesterday. Everything went perfect. And let's take a look. Okay. The like reveal, I guess. Yes. The second reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You look great. Yeah, perfect. I think the size is going to be awesome for you. Um, you're fantastic. Nipples look good. Tiny drains. I like to use the drains. Uh, very, very small, low profile drains. The reason I use these is because uh, in a lot of patients, it gets fluid out of the surgical site. And so your tissues can heal quicker and up against each other a little bit quicker. Yeah, so that's basically it. I will do everything else. On it. I know I'm supposed to be wearing those soft bras for a while. Am I not? Am I not allowed to go braless? Like not, not yet. Not yet. Not wait. Wait till I mean at least a couple of weeks for surgery. Okay. Like three weeks. That thing's healed. Three weeks okay. enough. Yeah, okay. at least. Because if you don't do that, then your your breast tissues are unsettled and they can stretch the skin more than they ought to. Okay. I got to see the shape of my boobs and it's just wild to even think that they're that high up slash like that small um, but I did end up like feeling really lightheaded all of a sudden I don't know why I think we think it's the pain medication that I took earlier this morning um, but they like lifted the chair and they took my blood pressure again and it was better after I ate something um, but yeah I definitely did feel like I was gonna pass out a little bit um, but now I'm fine I'm just really tired so I think I'm gonna take a nap, watch some YouTube videos and just sleep the rest of the day. What are you making mama? What am I making? It's called Rava Roti. It's made with cream of re- wheat or they call it suji or what's another? Rava. Mm-hmm. It's um, semolina. It's the same thing you use with uh, pasta. So couscous, mm. same thing. Um, cut up onions, cilantro, green chilies and mix it with the salt and add some of this and mix it up, add water, mix it up, let the suji expand and then you just press it into a hot pan and you cook it. Yummy. 
Is this South or in, uh, North Indian food? South Indian. And we're South Indian. Yes. It's called rava roti. And it's so good when they pat on the butter. Thank you, mommy. Okay. This day is going so slow. It's only like 1.30 p.m. And I just like want to get in bed and go to sleep so the days can go faster. But we just took my medicine. Um, I did a pain medicine and an antibiotic. And I'm watching the D'Amelio show. Um, I just have a lot of YouTube videos to catch up on. So after the show, I'm going to watch some YouTube and maybe play on my computer. But I don't really, I don't really want to. I do need to look for an outfit for ACL. But I don't know what size I am this whole thing because I usually get larges in size tens but I don't know if I would be able to go down to a medium so maybe I'll just wait till like one week post op and see what bra size I am but so exciting it's Wednesday so it's day two after surgery and I don't know what's wrong with my throat it does not want to speak so I do want to open some of these packages up just because I don't have anything else to do. These are the zip up bras for my breast reduction surgery. They sent me home with like one bra. And as you can see, a little Amazon shopping. This is a sweat set, sweat set thingy. I got from Amazon too. Just like a little cute green thing. I got some goodies from Goriana. They're like my favorite jewelry brand. And I always wear like their earrings, their necklaces. It's most always from Oriana. I have not really changed since my surgery, except for my pants, but I don't really even feel like smelly at all, which is weird because I thought I would definitely be feeling a little dirty, but my mom's leaving tomorrow. So I think she's gonna wash my hair before she leaves in the sink. This is one of my first picks from Goriana. Really pretty. And then we have another bracelet because you can never have too many bracelets. Not even that sore really, it's just like the itchiness around the tubes is driving me insane. So I actually called the doctor's office and asked them if I could take Benadryl, but they said that I would be like super out of it because the pain meds kind of like make me drowsy as well. So they said if you need to, then you can, but they also said to just like tr change the dressing or like the tape and stuff. Um, so you might try that first. Well, honestly, my mom put coconut oil like all over where it was itchy last night and it did help like a lot. Kind of like a temporary fix, but it did feel good at least. Here's something else that I ordered for the surgery. These are rinse-free bath sponges. So I think you just add water and you just like kind of scrubby dub dub all over you and then you just like take the soap off with the towel. This is a 25 pack and I think it should be able to get me through because I think I'll be able to take a shower after my one week post-op. I'm hoping so. I also feel like I'm very mobile because a lot of people said they couldn't even like lift their hands up. I definitely feel like I can do that, so thank God. I got another pair of just like gray sweatpants. Also yesterday, I've never seen my cheeks more pink and it was just weird to see like the whole day. I was just so like flushed or something, I don't even know. The spice things. Oh, okay, yay. I got mm. little spice cans mm. things, jars, because there were some Indian spices that my mom gave me when I moved to Austin. And they're just chilling in the plastic bag, so I got these. Was that too heavy? Mm -hmm. Then I got some gold earrings with this really cool ribbed texture. And I think they were like really cheap on Amazon. Here's the spice wraps. They're pretty big. Every six hours I'm supposed to take um, my pain meds. And I just took it pretty much and now I'm feeling very groggy. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time for a nap. <laughs> After I eat my oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of hot right now. I don't know if I can eat a hot thing. Okay. Hot. My mom rebraided my hair, brushed it out, and we emptied my drains. And I was out on the balcony. <laughs> I was out on the balcony and I fell asleep for a really long time. <laughs> Felt really good because it's like 70 something here in Austin, which is like so weird. I totally forgot the reason why my throat is so sore is because whenever they knocked me out with the anesthesia stuff, they had to put like a breathing tube down my throat and I remember them saying that it's gonna be like scratchy and weird um, for a couple days after that. So it makes a lot of sense now, but my throat is just like so freaking dry. I know I drink like lemon and honey water, but it's only helping a little, but it's almost noon. I just like, I'm trying to make these days go by faster, honestly, just so like get these tubes out of me. Doing good, I'm still on my pain medications and like I said, it's just really itchy. I don't think I updated you guys yesterday because I didn't feel great yesterday. And this morning I had like a low fever and the fever has gone there past. And I have this 
ice pack on my head. My throat's feeling better. We're gonna attempt to wash my hair now. I'm just getting more emotional by the day because my mom's leaving today. And I just, I'm sad. Um, what else? I feel like not talking at all. Every time I step out of the house, I feel like I need to go back because I feel either nauseous or, or, um, or like really sleepy. So I thought I would be better by this weekend. I thought I could like do stuff outside of the house this weekend because I've been literally trapped in this apartment for like five days now. But I don't know because I just don't feel good every time I walk out of the house. So I don't know if I'm getting nauseous because of the car or what, but it's not a good feeling. And yesterday I sponge bathed myself and I really don't feel like smelly, which is nice. Um, even before that, I didn't really feel like gross or anything. I am on my period, which definitely adds to the emotions of it all, but I don't think the meds are helping with my, my emotions too. And yeah, that's kind of just like the update. I don't really feel great, but I know it's going to be over soon. I just need my drains to come the frick out of me, but I have to wait till Tuesday. Okay. Can you scrub the shit out of my scalp? Yeah. It is Saturday and I feel like I'm a brand new person. I probably look it because I actually got ready. Last night I did this like ribbon curling thing to my damp hair and it made these really beautiful curls. Like no heat curls. I did have to like straighten my bangs a little bit but for the most part it looks pretty freaking good. Then I finally changed my shirt. This is like Ryan's button down but I didn't really have any other button downs and I kind of just like want to get out of the house and like try to see if I'm able to. I kind of want to see how long I can go without taking my pain meds because I'm not in any pain. I think the last time I took it was like yesterday afternoon or in the night. I want to go to a park today, maybe South Congress. I kind of just like want to go shopping even though I do not know what size my boobs are because we're going to have to like measure them. So I think I'm just going to do some window shopping and see how long I can like hold up outside my home um, without my medication. I might take like a nausea pill before, but I feel like I'm good on the pain meds. Um, I also put on a little makeup, mascara, eyebrows, and blush to make me feel a little prettier. And then I got these earrings from Amazon actually this week, so I popped them in my ears because I um, haven't put anything in my ears or like... I, I usually have like this whole stack of bracelets on my hand, but I had to take them off for the surgery. And then this is from Goriana. And I'm wearing jeans today. It's like such a nice fall day in Austin, which I feel like fall usually just happens in October, right? And it's like September. I'm putting on quarters if I'm taking them. Yeah, because usually Ryan's always hot, so he like never like says this is fall. It's still 70. Yeah, it's probably gonna get hot. So I'm wearing this button down, but I don't know if you can tell my drains are like right here. <coughs> Ryan's button down. Where'd you get it? It's from uh, Bonobos. Bonobos. When I put this on, we both noticed that like my boobs are so <laughs> small, and like honestly, a button down is like one of the things that I really wanted to wear, but my boobs are just like so large that it just like didn't look good on me, and I just look so like petite. Like I feel like I was always petite, but my boobs didn't look make me look like it, you know. So this is like the first real clothing I kind of like put on after my surgery and it just looks so petite. <laughs> it is Sunday and I just wanted to give a quick recap of yesterday. So we did some errands like we went to Goodwill and then we went to Teal House Bakery and got like the best cinnamon roll in the world. Literally put me in the best mood and I was just like really happy and just like in a good mood the whole morning. Then I came home, Ryan went to play golf, and obviously I took a couple naps because he was playing golf for a while and I didn't really have anything else to do. So I did end up sleeping, but I didn't take my pain meds. After he came home, we went to a sushi restaurant and then it went all downhill from there because I was just having like random mood swings. Like he would say something really nice and then I would start crying. Like it wasn't anything bad. I would just like 
start crying because he was like being nice. Obviously he's nice to me, but he'll like say some cute stuff and I'll just like start crying. I'm like, okay, you need to not say those things because I don't want to be crying in public. So it was like really weird. After like we ate, I didn't eat like too much of what I usually eat at a sushi restaurant, but it was so good actually. It was like definitely gonna be our new favorite place. Um, and I was sad that I couldn't really enjoy it. But since it was like really dim lighting in there, it didn't make me feel too good and I started having like hot flashes. So then I went ahead and took a Tylenol because I was just getting really, really hot and I wanted to like, you know, cool down any fever I had. So I didn't take any pain meds yesterday. So yay for that. But yeah, the mood swings yesterday were very weird. Like I said, today is Sunday and we've had the most amazing morning. We went to this place called Little Fields and just got like some matcha which wasn't that great it literally tasted like i was drinking milk and then we went to get some like tacos and brought them back here and hung out in our courtyard in our apartment complex and then we like sat on the hammock and just let sophie explore the courtyard and it was just like so nice and peaceful and just made me so happy inside just to, like get outside and the weather here in austin is like really nice so i'm just like wanting to be outside yesterday i discovered something kind of like horrible my vision is like not there everything's like really blurry i'm blinking a lot and like i could barely see my computer and i was trying to like do some work things but i was like okay i give up because i can't really see anything and it's just like really tough for me to like focus on stuff so like my computer screen was there i was like i cannot see anything like i can't focus on it and so ryan is actually out to get me some eye drops and i googled it and apparently that's a freaking side effect of having anesthesia um it can cause some blurry vision after you get anesthesia which freaking sucks because tomorrow is like the day i have to work or start working again so that's gonna be very interesting and today i'm gonna try not to take any naps so i'm chilling on the couch but i'm watching some youtube and i really wanted to like start working but my eyes are like really really bothering me but i feel pretty good like soreness wise i don't really feel like too much pain but the roads here in austin are very bumpy so like i literally have to like hold my boobs every time i'm in the car just in case i go over a bump because then it kind of hurts if I'm like going over a pothole. I don't think I gave you guys an update on my throat, but that's getting a lot better. Um, it got better like kind of when my mom left. So that was Friday night. Um, but yeah, now I'm just like randomly like sniffly. I don't know why. Tomorrow's Monday, then the next day is Tuesday, which means these trains are coming out and I feel like I will be a new person. I really, really hope that I will be. <laughs> it's a couple hours later. I've just been editing my videos. My vision was a little better when I used Ryan's like glasses, just random prescription glasses. It could have been the anesthesia. That's what I Googled and that's what it said. Or some people are saying that it could have been the nausea patch that was right behind my ear that I literally took off like two hours ago because I just didn't know it was gonna do anything bad to me. And I didn't really know that it like wore off. Apparently it wears off like 72 hours after your surgery. So make sure you take that shit off. And now I have to like wait 24 hours to see if it actually like was the nausea patch. Also, I'm really sad that my mom's not here anymore because my apartment is an actual pigsty. I don't know how we let it get this messy, to be honest. It's mainly a lot of my stuff just out and about because I can't really put stuff away. I guess like now I can, but at first I couldn't. And now I just have a lot of shit to clean up. So that's what we're gonna be doing for the next hour. Today is September 28th, it's a Tuesday, and it's a week and a day after I got my surgery, and we are headed to my week after post-op, which means they will be taking the freaking drains out of me, I hope. I don't really know what happens at this, this appointment, but I'm hoping that they take the drains out of me and that I can freaking shower tonight. I am stoked because this hair definitely needs some washing, and I just like want to feel clean. <laughs> <laughs> the nurse just said that I might be able to get my drains out because my boobs look good and like the swelling is like fine and stuff and my drains like every day it was so low so basically if they if it was a lot of like output she said then he might want the drains to stay in me longer but oh I'm ready to get these things out of me and shower. I asked her if I could shower if they come out today and she said yes so thank god. Okay. Yes, I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> I actually did not feel her taking out the drains at all. I was just making these faces because I was so scared. I was like dreading it the whole time, but literally I did not feel anything. I'm back home from the post-op appointment. It has definitely been a roller coaster during the later half of the week. I definitely had some mental breakdowns just like emotionally because 
I think it was like just all of the meds going in me. I don't know what it was. I would start off the mornings like so happy and then by the end of the night, I would just like be crying for no reason. I couldn't tell you why, but it was definitely a roller coaster. And I'm just very happy that I'm kind of like back to my normal self and I can start wearing real clothes. I mean, that's gonna be like the most exciting part is to try on all of my old clothes and see how my boobs look in it and just like, not having back pain when I'm out on like photo shoots and video shoots. I mean, I still am not going to be doing it for the next couple of weeks. I kind of just like didn't plan anything because I don't know how long I really need to heal, you know, because it still feels a little bit weird if I, you know, pick up t something too heavy. In my pre-op vlog, I talked about like how I can't lift like anything 15 pounds or heavier for like blank amount of weeks and I can't submerge my breasts in water for like blank amount of weeks. So go watch that if you're curious about like all the restrictions after the surgery. I was able to see my nipples and they are so small. It's very weird and they just like look weird honestly and i wasn't able to see my scars because they like had me laying down and i like couldn't like lift my boob and see it so i didn't see those just yet but my boyfriend did and he told me it's not as bad as like he thought it would be but he did say like the anchor is like really close like right here like really far in so it may be visible if i'm wearing like really deep v-necks or swimsuits or something so hopefully that heals i'm really really praying the scars pretty much heal to like nothing but who knows i mean i know a lot of people who have breast reduction they just have like a little bit of a scarring that kind of just stays there forever which i really hope not i also forgot to mention i ended up not purchasing any scar kit removals from the Westlake Dermatology Center because my nurse recommended me stuff on Amazon that was a lot more affordable. One was Scar Away. Those are the only silicone band-aid strips that they recommended, or at least that brand. And then they also recommended to rub bio oil on the scarring and then um, put the band-aids on top. I will link those below. I've also heard so many people say that the Scar Away band-aids help so much. So I'm excited to see what they can do for me. If you guys are interested to hear updates from this surgery, definitely subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications. I definitely wanna keep you guys updated with like how my scars are healing and like how long it takes. I don't have much else to say or show you guys. Just kidding, I do. I didn't wanna end this vlog without a little before and after. And I put on my first piece of real clothing other than that button down. And I wanna show you guys cause it's just so freaking crazy to see the difference. I have this little top on and I actually got it right before my boob reduction. So I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side photo of what it looks like. I also measured my breasts and they are a 38 and it used to be a 39, which honestly, I thought it would be a little more than an inch, but good news, that is a medium in top. So I used to get larges and now I can get mediums. So that's really exciting, but yeah. I don't know if you guys can like really tell, but it's a big difference. And I just cannot wait to try on more clothes. So, yay. So I'll end the vlog here, but like I said, I'll be keeping you guys updated on the vlogs. And thank you so much for watching this whole video and coming with me on this journey. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.